this hole I found not too deep, but it looks like a melted 58. Yeah, it's definitely melted. It's not a fired one where it's got hot. Yep, that's kind of cool. Alrighty. Down here again in another place here in central West Virginia. Um, pretty close as the crow flies to uh, an 1861 battle. And they were up there, and I got lucky and found a Prussian, two ring Prussian. You can see where the yeah, my shovel fired it just a little teeny bit right there. But you can see where it was been wormed, where they pulled it. And it was out of that hole right there. But, oh, well, my pen, it was almost as high as my pinpoint. It's about eight inches. But, uh, yeah, having a good day. Good day to hunt. We're hunting a Civil War site, and I dug this carbide lamp. It's pretty smushed. That's cool. Alrighty. And I just found me a nice pulled Prussian, two ring Prussian. There she be. You can see the two rings. This is from an 1861 action area. And you can see the two rings and it's pulled. Love it. Hey, this is Old Relic Dozer. We're down here in middle middle of West Virginia, and we're out here trying to find some Civil War bullets and and uh, doing just getting started here. Been digging about ten minutes and got lucky and found one right here. It's a 58 caliber. Found it right there in the bottom of that hole. It's oh about ten inches. About 10 inches. We've got a new guy with us today. He's the newest member of the 35th State Relic Hunters. His name's uh, Jimmy. We call him J.C. Mosby. <laughs> and he's found him a bullet right here. Let me show you right here. So there's the hole. And right there's the bullet. And I'm going to let him just tell you about how he come about finding that. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So this is what I was doing. I was just coming along swinging. I saw this hole. It's already it's already been dug. And then I come over here, start scanning and get a bullet signal. And there's a 58 a 58 drop sitting on top of the ground. So he must have he must have been digging and flopped it way over here and didn't even know he dug it and just left it. That is insane. I've that's, never experienced that. No, that's just pure luck. And that does not count. He didn't find that bullet. That does not count. That well, I don't know what we're going to do with that. We have to float in the river on the way home because he, he don't get to claim that one. That is but incredible. that is really neat. That's something you don't see very often, like you that. Not see that ever. Somebody just pulled that plug out of there, or whatever, and that bullet's just chunked over there. And it is. I don't know how they kept them seeing it there. Yeah, it, it was. It was sitting. It was sitting pretty. It was sitting pretty. Not even covered like that. Well, now that two feet from the hole. That beats anything I've ever held, felt, smelt, or stepped in right there. That beats it all right there. Okay, old Jeff here's got a signal. He's got his Equinox 600 out here for the first time. I'm even lost using it. But he's got a pretty good signal in this hole. Been playing around with settings. Uh, 
the plug had iron or junk in it because I picked, went over it with my pro. And it said the goodies in there and the irons in the plug. It said it was a heck. It went up into the 80s, so it could be a button, coin. What's what it showed on yours, 80s? 70s and 80s. Down into the 60s. You must have it out. Might be a bullet, a little one. What is it, nail? Or a piece of brass? Maybe lead, maybe? That looks like lead. I think it's lead. I found lead in here. They molded bullets here. I found chunks of lead in here. Oh, yeah. That's some of that scrap lead they was using to melt stuff. Well, if it was, let's see. That was a 17 on there, so that would have been a bullet, been the same thing. Sure would have. And that was deep, too. Somebody stop me! <laughs> <laughs> the Knox. And I figured two years from now, I'll have this thing figured all out. Yep. This hole, I found something made out of lead. It's got black on it. And a real cool looking design. I'll have to clean that up. That's really neat. All right. Okay, here in this hole, I dug now this area right there. Looks like the back of an eagle button. There's still a little bit of it in there. I'll try to clean up and see what it is. And I got something that's not too awful deep, but you can see it there. It's green. There's <laughs> dirt was over it. It looks like a button. That's what I'd say it is. Let's find out. Yep, yeah. shank's gone. But that's probably why the reason they lost a lot of them. This is a fat flat button area that just we keep pouring them out of here. Alrighty, out of this hole I dug something, and that looks like it could be another one of those flat buttons. I can't tell. There it is. It almost looks like a two-piece, but I can't tell yet. I think that's the shank on the back of it. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Huh. Let's look at this. Well, I'd say it's probably definitely a flat button. It is. There's the shank. And this hole I found this. Looks like a little spoked like train wheel or something. Cast button. There's the shank. I'll clean it off later. But that's an interesting pattern. Never seen one like that. It's kind of cool. Looks like a pizza. <laughs> And just dug this up. Little flat button. Looks plain. It's quite deep. But heck yeah, I'll take that. 